Alright, so you want to make an animated GIF of you juggling. It's pretty simple, all you gotta do is follow the right steps. First thing you're gonna need, obviously, a camera, but more importantly, you're gonna need a tripod. Whether it be a small one or a big one like I've got here that you can put on the floor and extend all the way up to hold the camera. This is so that the beginning and ending of the animated GIF are gonna match up so that when it loops, it doesn't jerk with the background. Pretty obvious. The next thing that you're going to need to do once you've put your camera on there is set up your lighting and background and the way you want the actual clip to look. Now, probably the most important thing that I can recommend is once you've actually done all of this stuff is figuring out what move you actually want to do in the GIF. I've seen animated GIFs of people doing five balls, I've seen three clubs, I've done myself with three balls, three clubs and uh, three rings in a full reverse pattern but really any move that you're that you can do really easily and really consistently will work because the entire reason that you want a consistent move is so that you know you'll have your hands in exactly the same position after each throw that way you can cut between the beginning and end of the GIF without your hands looking like they're you know suddenly going from one position to another position between frames that's what kills most animated GIFs so that's that for this video I'm just gonna do a three ball cascade because that's easy so this is the recording that I made of me doing my three ball cascade and as you can see I went for much longer than I needed to and I went and tried to get it as consistent as I possibly could fairly obvious because like I said you want to be consistent and have your hands in the same position so try not to sway your body or anything or move at all and just go so now that you've got your video recorded you're gonna bring it into your computer and obviously before you do anything else open it and play it in whatever media player you want I use VLC because I can do it in slow motion but you do whatever you want the reason for this is you want to review it and see during which span of about two or three seconds is the pattern the most consistent you know your hands are going in exactly the same place for each throw the background doesn't change your head position doesn't change you're not swaying at all or anything you want to find this what I call the key frames these are gonna be what makes up the uh, span of your animated GIF so if you can notice at the beginning of the video here my pattern is not looking very good the shadow that's on my face from my hand is not gonna make a very good looking GIF plus my hands are all over the place but as you can see my pattern is getting more consistent and the shadow is gone so this is the keyframes that I'm gonna use about 20 seconds to 22 seconds I think it was so what you want to do now is open a program called rad video tools by Bink and Smacker. There's a link to it in the show notes and online. Don't worry, the program's free, so you don't need to spend any money on it. What you want to do once you've gone into Rad Video Tools is click Convert a File after selecting the file that you just watched. Once you're in the next window, you're going to go to Browse and select the folder that you want to put the converted video into which is going to be a series of JPEG files. I recommend creating a new subfolder for this, but you can put it in whatever you want. Click Output Type and make sure it's set to JPEG files. And then what you're going to do, and this is key, go to Frame Range and type in under Start the Time Index, which is you know however many seconds into the video it was, times 30. That'll give you your starting position, and then however long of a span you want to record whether it was two seconds or three seconds I never recommend going past five seconds because your GIF file is going to be really really big once you do that plus it's going to be un completely unwieldy but I would recommend make it about two or three seconds or maybe four at the most and under end take that starting number and add either two or three times sixty or two or three times 30, sorry, to that number. And then click Convert. Once you've done that, it's going to start changing your single AVI file or whatever file type it was, basically your video file. It's going to take it and turn it into a series of JPEG images 
that were that used to be all the frames in the video but now they're saved as single files this is very very important step in making this and without this step there's pretty much no way to turn a video file into an animated GIF so once that conversion is done you can open the folder and see all the JPEG images that you've just created I recommend doing this so that you can go ahead and check and make sure that it converted correctly without anything bad happening then what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up an animated GIF creator I use GIF construction set professional which I'm not sure whether you can get anymore which is why I'm hosting the free version on my website right now you can get it from the show notes and the download link what you want to do is go to edit transition and from there what you're gonna do is you're going to click add and go find the JPEG files that you just created select all of them and click open that'll put them all down there in order and what you want to do is under delay set it as low as it'll go which is one and pause zero make sure the default transition is none and click OK click OK once you've clicked OK don't touch anything else because this program is notorious for basically um, freezing up or well not freezing up but delaying so that you'd think that nothing's happening while it's actually working so don't click otherwise it'll cancel the conversion once it's started it's really easy just let it go and it'll automatically create your GIF what you do once it's created it though is you're going to hit the uh, eyeglasses button or the sunglasses button and that'll give you a preview of what the GIF looks like if it's going in reverse go to um, what is it block reverse and it'll create a copy of that GIF that is played back the opposite direction in other words the right way and from there just click save as and that's it save it as your animated GIF and there you go now from here on it's just a question of what are you gonna do to it are you going to say crop it you're gonna add text to it and whatever else you're gonna do to it which is done in a Bode image ready which comes with every copy of Photoshop so let's head to that next so as you can see I've opened up the file in Adobe image ready basically what this will do is it'll give you the bottom strip which shows frame by frame all the frames that are in the thing what you're gonna do is play them one by one and right now shorten the GIF to one single loop because as the GIF stands now it's two or three seconds long so it's gonna be like eight megabytes at least so you want to slim it down if you're gonna use it online what you do is look for basically a series of frames where your hand starts in one position and all the objects start in one position and end in as close as possible the position that they can go one frame before that and cut everything else out so all you're gonna be left with are those 16 or 17 frames where basically your hands and objects start in one position and they end in basically the same position from here there's your basic GIF what you can do now is you can use the crop tool to cut out all the excess background like I just did or you could add text you could add a design you could go frame by frame and cut out the background if you wanted to that'd be really meticulous and tough to do but it's doable without that much hassle you can slow down the video if you want to when you know what you're doing you could also speed it up maybe if you know what you're doing and from here you're basically free to do whatever you want just play around with it and see what you come up with remember there's nothing you can't undo if you make a mistake and you destroy the GIF all you gotta do is go up to edit step back and everything's back to the way it was before you screwed it up so go ahead and play around see what happens if you remove a frame or reverse the frames or you know whatever you want to do and once you're done with that 
all you got to do is go to file export file as GIF and save it as your animated GIF from there it'll be a small enough size and it'll be whatever you want it to be whether it have text or cropped or whatever and that's how you make an animated GIF from a movie file of you juggling and so that's pretty much going to do it for this episode of Jugglers on Juggling. I am Richard Coet, a.k.a. Reese's Tony of 50. If you want to send me an email with either a show suggestion or comments, complaints, criticisms, praise, you know, you want to tell me that I suck or you want to tell me that I rock, whatever you want to do, go ahead and send it. I love getting feedback, whatever it is, because it proves that I've got listeners. Send it to jojfans at gmail.com. Also, you can visit the website at reeses2150.com slash J-O-J. That's where you will find the comic, all the episode descriptions, and the links, and where you can find past episodes of Jugglers on Juggling if you want to watch them or listen to them again. If you really want to go back that far, I suggest you don't. And if you want to, you can send me a donation. I can't imagine why you'd want to do that, but if you want to do that, I'm completely open to accepting money. I have no problems with it. You can send that via PayPal to Reese's2850, R-E-E-S-E-S-2150 at msn.com. And that'll do it for this week's episode. Thank you a lot for watching. And next week, we'll begin talking about juggling music videos. See ya.